What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Today I wanted to talk about who I think the next heroes or set of heroes is going to be and what the update schedule is going to be like. Okay, so um, as we uh, we successfully predicted, um, Bologna, sh shouts out to Kiro, um, and shouts out to the community in the Discord, uh, who kind of like helped me kind of pinpoint how this is kind of play out. Uh, what I'm starting to notice is a pattern here. Now, again, I could be wrong on this, but what I'm starting to notice is a pattern. Um, if you guys looked at the previous uh, connections with the new heroes, for instance, k showed up all of a sudden, you know, after a patch in the connections, and then next thing you know, k is the new hero paired with ML Chloe, okay? Um, if you if you looked again, or if you paid attention to the connections, all of a sudden, Bologna showed up in the connections with Gator Aether, although um, it, was, it was stated later on that, that it was a mistake and that she wasn't supposed to, uh, or... Bologna wasn't supposed to be there because she's not really connected to Gator Aether. And then later on, I found out that, you know, uh, Captain Araminta actually is the leader uh, of Bologna. Okay, so she runs the, the whole crew. Bologna had the tie-in, which says, as we learned today in the side story, I'm not going to share details uh, outside of some other stuff I want to talk about here in a bit, uh, who I think is also going to be paired with the future hero. Uh, but we'll get into that here in just a second. So they covered the backstory between Bologna and says uh, in this story, but Bologna showed up initially as a connection now some people are skeptical because uh there's a there's a common belief that um if you see you know a character in the game and they're not moving or they're stationary then they're not a character but if you think back to the first time you saw Bologna, she was a stationary character she wasn't moving either right um but then uh now of course she is moving you know it was just a character that was planned in and then her connection showed up and now lo and behold here we have Bologna as a character. But if you go to your Bologna, um, or Bologna in the journal if you guys don't have her yet, and you look at her specialty, you'll notice Lydica. Lydica was introduced in the story, in the side story. I was unable to find another image of her. I was trying to get one, but I was unable to. Um, but Lydica, um, I, in my personal opinion, I think is going to be either fire or ice. Um, and she's going to be a warrior or a knight. Now, people were saying on the stream tonight that she had little indentations in her sword. So it might be like a sword whip. Because you guys saw like the little rose petals and stuff like that. Um, which in that case, she could be a thief. But I'm thinking definitely a warrior or a knight. Or I'm hoping. Um, and I'm thinking probably fire. But I could be wrong because, you know, the color scheme doesn't necessarily mean that their element is going to be a certain thing. So I think Lydica is definitely, definitely, definitely going to be the next new hero that's coming. Uh, but I think that the next batch of heroes is going to be Lydica and somebody else that was introduced uh, in the story. That if you guys haven't seen the story, spoiler alert. So listen, if you want a spoiler alert, just go ahead and just close the video right now. <laughs> But if you don't mind, uh, I want you guys to take a look at ML, ML Says. Now, the reason why I think that this is ML Says is because when you guys pay attention, if you guys paid attention to the story, he talks about I'd only win if I was this person. Essentially, is what I'm paraphrasing here. Um, but if you look at all the features, you'll notice that the outfit is exactly the same, except that it's a different color scheme. His hair is now a different color. Uh, the skill set basically is still the same, still has the glowing hand, uh, except, you know, he now has long hair. And uh, But everything else essentially is the same. Design is a little bit different, though. Um, so what I'm thinking what they're going to do is they're going to pair Lydica, kind of like they did with k -Ron. If you guys remember k -Ron, they did k -Ron plus ML Hero. Um, and they did that as kind of, uh, you know, like Kron was the banner and they new, introduced a new ML hero to kind of involve that. So what I think is probably over the course of maybe the next two weeks or so, uh, that's when this is going to drop. And I'm anticipating Lydica and ML Says in the same kind of thing. So there won't be a banner, of course, for ML Says, but he'll be included and introduced as a new character uh, to kind of further along the story. Because why the hell else would they introduce ML Says just so blatantly like that, uh, along with Lydica, while including her in the connections now what are they going to do in between is the question because we got this blown banner that's lasting for two weeks uh the other parts of the story and stuff that we had uh the, you know the, the quests and the events and stuff are going to end next week uh, but that still leaves us another week so what i think is going to happen is uh for those of you guys who expected it to be a ken banner uh or luna banner or anything like that i think if they're going to place something like that it'll happen next week for the next patch um, and the next patch will be a build-up for the, the bigger patch, which will come after that. So I'm anticipating kind of a filler patch next week because this patch I thought was like a, all right, look, guys, prepare for what's going to happen, prepare for what's going to come. And then I think next week is going to be more of a kind of filler.
regular like all right guys enjoy what you're doing here's some more stuff let's siphon some more money off of you guys and then let's lead into the big bang so everybody's summoning here they're gonna put in that last like limited maybe a limited banner maybe not a limited banner maybe um maybe luna maybe ken maybe something as a filler in between while we're still trying to get this hero um and then that's gonna tie into like a major patch uh, or like a big release patch, not not really a big release patch, but something like the Lydica, Lydica uh, ML, ML says combo uh, to really siphon it off. And then that last patch will, will carry us over until they're ready to drop the bigger content, which I think is either A, it's going to be Guild Wars, it's going to be, uh, or it's going to be Sidonia. Uh, the new continent with the Gunblade Hero, or it's going to be a combination of both. And with the Gunblade Hero, I think that, you know, Pavel, when that ties into that, um, they're, they're, I think, like, Pavel's going to be one of those heroes that they just kind of give you for free, you know, kind of like they did with um, Basque, and then maybe they'll introduce a five-star on top kind of deal where it'll tie into the new story and they'll explain all the stuff and then now all of a sudden you got this guild wars and they'll, they'll be explaining new mechanics and how our like our politics and our charm and our power command whatever all that stuff ties in uh, but that's that's what i think is gonna gonna happen overall but um and like i said in today's video guys i just wanted to take a little bit of time talk some shop with you uh really uh because i've been paying attention to like a lot of the patterns that they've been kind of doing along the way um, but that Cirilla thing that they did last week really threw me off. So like I said, I still think Luna could be a possibility. Um, but if, even if they don't do Luna uh, with the rest of the stuff, um, you know, with the ML says and with the uh, the Lydica, I think that those two definitely will end up being paired together because it just makes sense, right? Uh, based on all the stuff that's happened with the story and how they all kind of tie into each other. And then this story will lead into the next section of the war and how the war, that you know, happened and all that other jazz. Uh, but of course, we'll just have to wait and see. So uh, with that being said, guys, um, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, uh, definitely let me know in the comment box below. Let me know what you guys think, uh, you know, who you would like to see most. Are you guys happy about Bologna? Are you guys looking forward to Lydica? Are you guys more excited about ML Says? Are you guys just want Luna? Let me know in the comment box below. Um, as always, it's your boy Demo bringing you guys another video. Um, like I said, uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box. And if you guys would really like to support the channel, definitely mash that join button and become a member, support the channel. And with that being said, guys, we'll see you guys in the next video video. Peace.